Here in our studio, I mean, we've got to decorate, right? And on the bridge, I wanted an Orville model. And sure enough, we got one. Eagle Moss uh, is selling these right now. You can go to cat5.tv slash Orville model, and that's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just so that it's really easy for you to get to the website where they're selling it. There are two different versions of this. There's a 10 point some odd inch version and then a five point some odd inch. So basically half size and then the full size, the XL, which is what I'm about to unbox. So I had to, here in Canada, call up a local um, comic book store because they wouldn't ship it from the website to us here in Canada. So I wanna tell you, if you're unable to order it direct, give a call to your local uh, comic book store. I called Big B Comics here in Barrie, Ontario, Canada, and they were incredibly helpful. They told me that it would probably ship around October 31st, and here I am, it's September 16th, and I already have it. So it's way ahead of schedule, and I don't know if they did that on purpose just to impress me, but I'm impressed and very, very happy. So just an encouragement that if you can't get your hands on one of these and you want to, make sure you give a call to your local um, comic book store because they're able to pull it off of their order list. Again, I've got that hot link for you for Eagle Moss at cat5.tv slash Orville model. But let's get in here. First of all, the box says ECV197 Orville. The USS Orville was designed to explore great distances and map uncharted space. While the ship is an example of the superior technology of the year 2418, its ragtag crew are a little less advanced. Nice little summary there of the Orville. Let's get into the box. So this is a die-cast model from Eagle Moss, the official ship's collection with the Orville. Here we are. Okay, so it starts out with a 16-page color booklet. It's got the design specs, ship profile, uh, write up about the ship, uh, exploratory class vessel, USS Orville investigates the mysteries of the Alpha Quadrant. It's got some great pictures from the show. Nicely printed. Nice little keepsake there. That's a little bonus. Cool. All right, so let's get into the box and see what do we have here. Oh. Before I get right in here, remember back on episode number 628, Tom Costantino and Brooke Noska showed us a $400,000 model of the Orville ship. There you oh, go. Here we go. Oh my goodness. <gasps> so this is the actual model, folks, that was, uh, that was used to shoot those. Uh... $400,000 worth of fun, kids. Wow. That's... Well, this one is a little bit less expensive and will fit on your desk. It's only 75 bucks for the XL, about 30 for the small one. And there we are. Wow. I am such a geek. I have this shirt. I mean, come on. And I didn't even have to buy this special, you know? Okay, so here we've got a base. It's just a black base. I have seen some pictures on Twitter uh, with a glass base, and I really, really love that idea, but I haven't been able to find it. So I think that that might have been like a custom base that was like for maybe for Tom or something like that. So that just kind of snaps together, presumably. And into the box. It's cold. The metal, because it's a die cast model, the metal is actually, you can feel that it is a metal model. That's cool. It's got metal parts. Now I can feel these are plastic. I want to call them nacelles. We're going to call them engine loops. The lower two are plastic, and the top one is metal part of the die cast. So this is uh, the cast model here, and then the attachments are the lower two engine loops. And there you are. ECV197 from cat5.tv slash Orville model. Again, that's just to get you there really, really quickly. And there you have it. That's going to go on our bridge as a little ornament and a little bit of a um, homage to Tom and Brooke and everyone else who put the show together. And uh, that will represent on our, uh, on our bridge. There you have it. Beautiful. Very nice.